Okay, let's do um, roots and powers with the Casio FX 300 ES Plus Natural VPAM Second Edition. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Uh, let's do the square root of eight. A square root has an index of two automatically. Okay, and in this calculator, we have it right here, the square root of a box. So in this case, uh, we're just going to press the square root of uh, the square root with a box. We'll type in eight, and then we press equals, and it gives you two square root of two. Okay. Um, if you press SD, it will give you 2.828. Why? And then if you press SD again, it gives you 2 square root of 2. Why did it do that? Because it's reducing, right? In this case, 8 can be equal to um, 4 times 2. And when you take the square root of 4 times 2, it's the square root of 4, square root of 2. And that gives you square root of 4 is 2, square root of 2. But this, this, is, this video is not so much about talking about how to simplify roots, but you can simplify it that way. But if you want an answer, you press the SD button. Another thing also, in this video, we're not going to talk about how many values you place after the decimal place. This is where your teacher will tell you. Okay, okay the third root of 1.81. So that one, you have a third root key right here. So you press shift for yellow keys, right? So third third root of what? 1.81. And you press equals. And it gives you 1.218. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. And um, here on the X to the blank box on the top, uh, here, if you press Shift X to the box, it's blinking here like what number should go there, right? And we can type in 3. And then we can push over using the arrows to 1.18, right? And equals. And you get the same answer. Okay, so here we have the fifth root of 1 half. So we're going to use that. Um, X to the box key, but we're going to press shift and we're going to press that button right there. We need five, the fifth root, and then we use the arrows and then half. So we'll use the fraction button one and then go down two and then press equals and it gives you 0 0.8705, right? Um, if you can calculate this first, same thing, if that's 0.5, you can say the fifth root of 0.5 if you, if you want to. Let's do this one. This one says 3, take away, not negative, take away, what? Shift, and then X to the box again. And this has a fourth root. Move the arrow over, 8 equals 1.31. So this one, it didn't simplify or anything. It just did it with a number. Next one. Next one is the square root of 12. Then we need to use the arrow to get out of the root plus the square root, and this is the square root of 27, equals 8 point, ah, well, this one, it simplified. It, apparently, it had the same, you know, this is 4 times 3, and this is 9 times 3. And then this is the uh, square root of 4 is 2 square root of 3 plus the square root of 9 is 3 over 3. And if they have the same uh, root, you can add the numbers 5 square root of 3. But what about what is the value, the answer? Well, if you press SD, it gives you 8.660. Okay, this one. This one. Um, looks a little complicated, but it's not. Here, we'll probably press the negative key, right? Not the subtraction key. Then shift um, x to the square, right? Because I want the fifth root. Then I move the arrow over, 16, right? 
I want to get out of that root, so we press the arrow again. And then we're going to divide by 14. And look how it's written, and this is how you see it. That's the nice thing about this calculator. Uh, negative 0 0.124. Nice. Okay, next one. 3 squared. And there's a squared button. Gives you 9. How about the next one? 9, right? To the So this is the x to the box. We're going to finally use it. And then we put the power of 5 equals 59049. Nine. Next one. We're going to put negative 4 times 3 squared equals negative 36, right? So it's following the rules, um, the, the order of operation. Okay, so let's find out. Here, this one, we have negative 5 squared. We press enter, or equals, I mean. It's going to give you an answer of negative 25 which says that this calculator is saying 5 times 5, which is 25, and then the negative outside. It's not taking two negative 5s to give you 25. Some calculators do that, like this calculator here, the TI-30XA. Okay. The algebraic calculators, they calculate it different. Why? Because when you do this one, 7 take away 5 squared. You see that? 7 take away 5 squared. You press equals, it gives you negative 18, because um, what the calculator is doing, it's saying 5 squared is 25, and it's bringing the negative down. 7 taken away 25 is negative 18. So algebraically, it's doing it that way. This one, it says 2, right? And then x, right, x box to give you the power. What power is that? Negative 3 equals... 1 over 8, and if I wanted a number, 0.125, right? Uh, let's see, can we do it, um, can we do it in another way? And let's see, can we say uh, a fraction, 1, and then move this down, 2, right? And then to the power of 3 equals... 1 over 8, still, you can change it, see, 0.125. Um, and that's it, I think. Uh, I'm trying to see if it has, if there's any, if there's something else. Um, let's try this one. This problem says 3 to the 1 fourth equals the fourth root of 3. These are equivalent. And this is why you study uh, roots and powers at the same time, because they're, they're interchangeable. So 3 to the 1 fourth. So we go 3, right, x, box, and we can do a fraction there. 1, we go down, 4 equals 1.316. Or we can say shift x box, right, which is the nth root, but this one we're going to say fourth root of what? Move it over, 3. Now, and then equals. Same answer. One thing I want to tell you is it looks pretty fast. Oh, you're going too fast. Just pause the video, okay? Uh, and then go over it one more time. And take your time. All right, this one. This one. Let's see if we can do it this way. So we're going to put parentheses, right? Two to the third, two to the power of three, right? And then move it down. Divide five squared, five squared. Close it, right? To the power, uh, actually to square all this. So we're going to square all this, right? And then press equals. And then we get. Um, uh, 64 over 625 and that's true because this is 8 this is 25 but then when you square it right this is going to be 64 and and this is going to be 625 um, but I want an answer like with a decimal 
and it's point zero, zero point one zero two four. You press SD again, it gives you 64 over uh, 625, which is reduced. Okay, so if you have a friend, uh, please tell them about this video. Please tell your teacher. Um, please subscribe. There's much more to this channel in terms of uh, doing problems. And if you have a comment, put it in the comment section. I hope you have a, a great day. And uh, oh, by the way, there is a how-to video, a beginner's guide for this for this calculator as well. All right, I'll see you later. Bye bye.